Hello everyone, um, this is my first video and what better way to start this off with um, than a summary of basically all the finds I've already made in about uh, one and a half years of metal detecting. So, um, well, I'll just show the World War II finds because this channel is about that, so um, let's begin. <laughs> Firstly, we have, um, well, I think it's actually my first World War II find. Um, this is a German World War II um, K98 Ausgeh bayonet. That's what it's called. So it's a parade bayonet. I found this uh, lying on a tree stump without the um, frog, but with the uh, scabbard. And that's why the Blade is still in amazing condition actually, considering I found it on the ground. And um, next would be, um, for example, this. this is a French World War II, uh, no, it's not World War II, it's World War I. Um, French 37mm, uh, let's see if it can focus. Come on, yeah, there we go. Now you see, um, April of 1918. Well, that's when this one was manufactured, and it's a 37mm shell, as I already said, and it's for the um, well, it's a 37mm gun. This uh, gun, for example, was used in the French FT-17 tank. And um, yeah, I found this one in in a forest in Germany. And one here is the um, cathedral in Rheims, R E I M S, in France, France, whatever. <laughs> and um, here's some British twenty millimeter Hispano casings. And you see the head stamp. Come on. Well, it's RH, which is really high, I think. Um, okay, let's move on. Um, flare gun shell. It's also got remains of a marking here. If you can see, there's a four. The rest is gone, unfortunately. Um, this is a Zugzünder 42 or um, Pull Fuse 42, and I found quite a lot of them actually in one part of a forest in Germany. So um, basically, how they work is uh, if I got a whole one, well, let's use this one. This is not a 42, but a 35, but it works the same apart from the fact that it's in brass. So you've got this pin here um, and if it gets pushed this striker um, which is this thing which is spring loaded um, here would normally be a little thing up there but it's uh, rusted away and um, well once the pin is out it would go down and hit this little percussion cap which would well explode and then it would detonate the mine for example it was used in the german spring mine or s mine and the schützen mine what is it 42 or 43 and the glass mine 43 or 43 um, okay, let's move on. We, here we've got a lot of um, rations, uh, tubes. For example, this is a pretty nice one. Leo Werke GmbH, which is toothpaste called Chlorodont. That's in pretty good condition for the fact that it was 70 years in the ground. Or um, this one, which is 
Fußschweißsalbe. Um, also says Wer Sanitäts oder oh, um, Wer Kreis Sanitätspark 9 Kassel. Or well that would be Army Sanitary Park or something like that. Um, Kassel. And then we've got this little bottle. Oh crap. <laughs> Things are falling over. Which is Auto Colonia, which is also stamped or marked 43. So it's also World War II. Then all those medals, I'll cover them in a different video because they are pretty interesting. Um, those of 9mm casings, some other ammo. Then, let's see if I can get a good one. Uh, that's not good. Now yeah, that's even worse. Let's see if this one. No. Damn it, I just need a good head stamp. Nope. Oh, come on, I had a good one. Is that one? Yeah, there we go. Come on, stop shaking. Well, it's SS ammo, as you can see, 1939, TV, I don't know what that stands for, and the SS runes, you can't see them very well. I'll try to remember to take a photo and show you it afterwards. Then we've got a lot of these safety pins for the German Uchzünder 35 or Pressure Fuse 35 which is this it's also really good condition a shame I didn't know about the finish that was on it um, I think I destroyed that <laughs> but it's a very nice condition as you can see RR492 38 and all the parts are still moving and I've also got another one which actually detonated and I found it in uh, about six pieces and glued them all back together which is back there and next to it is a um, pretty rare finding a 20 millimeter flag casing yeah that's not very rare but it's exploded and it's in brass and I hope I can make it focus Yeah, there you can see the date, 38, and there's the Offenamt stamp, and that's also pretty nice. Um, some other casings, K98 clips, I don't know them. Then we come to the money, <laughs> five reichs finish, 50, you know them, some buttons and some other coins then this is a pretty cool find this is um, of the um, German gas mask canister the inside part where you've got the spare lenses I don't know why I found it but not the <laughs> gas mask canister but anyway um, if it's wet you can see it a little better but it says something Jose so it's the name maybe Fritz or something and it also says um, something very, very interesting. Um, this is a help post number. And when it's wet, you can read it. It's um, C61235, I think it was. And um, that um, is the help post number of a um, flag battalion. So that's pretty cool. So I know one unit that fought in that forest. Um, okay, then we've also got this, which is of a fuse. It's a safety cap for a fuse of a German SC250 or 250 kilogram bomb, which was, for example, used in the JRU87 and so on. Then we've got this um, gas mask breathing valve or whatever you want to call it. 
It's got a stamp there, 43H something. Pretty good. Found that in a oh in a dump hole actually. Then we've got an exploded 37mm flag casing, which is pretty rare, especially in an exploded version. You can also, I hope, <laughs> there's the P code. It says 1938, I think. There's the rest of the ego. It's gone, unfortunately, by the explosion. Then, not sure if you can make them out. There's some 20mm flag casings. Um, got a pretty nice 20mm flag fuse. Yeah, it's dated 44 ASP AZ49, which stands for Aufschlagzünder 49, and which is, um, well, what is that? <laughs> ah, crap. Um, well, it's a, uh, if it hits, it goes boom, <laughs> basically. Um, then we've got a German 105mm fuse, which also has a nice Raffnam stamp on it. Come on, focus. Yeah, I'm a bit shaky, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's AZ23 in that case, so Auflatzunder 23. Uh, it's 1944, something one, 0 0.15. No idea what that stands for. There are some other pieces of fuses, I'm not sure if you can see them, but well, they are all of the same kinds of fuses, so 20mm, 88 and whatnot. And we've also got the base of a, or oh, the bottom part of a 20mm flag grenade. It's not fired, because um, in the forest I found it, I also found the 20 and 37mm brass casings, or the remains of them. And also the 105 millimeter um, fuse, and in that forest, I don't know what happened, but I think there was a uh, ammo depot, and it went up in flames, and everything just exploded, <laughs> basically. And I found a lot of exploded ammo there. Um, okay, let's carry on. There's some old signs. I think they're actually from the Third Reich. Could be. This is GFST. No idea what that stands for. And the other one it says up there it used to say Euskirchen, then down, and then Wittlich. Um, which are towns uh, nearby where I live. And then we will go to the Allied stuff. Here we've got some casings which you aren't able to see, but they're just usual 30 cal. Then we've got the Max are not original, but I found about um, 20 rounds of live M1 carbine ammo. I'll try to take one out, just a second. Uh, that's the wrong one. Because that's the one where I just put the bullet on. Come on. I know you want to. Okay, so I just drilled a hole in them to get the gunpowder out. So they are safe. No gunpowder in them, so I can keep them without any problems. Then we've also got a lot of... 50 cal um, bullets, and this is a Bren gun mag, and I filled it with ammo, 303 British ammo, which I actually found lying on the surface in in the dozens, um, near to, uh, ne yeah, <laughs> next to a tree, which was pretty surprising. I mean, you don't expect when you go somewhere in the forest, and it was maybe three meters near a road, um, to see like 20 rounds of ammo just lying on the surface. I mean, you would expect someone to find it. <laughs> um, then we've got some coins, 
This is a 25 uh, Vincent Centimes in it's Belgium, 1938, and I actually found it on the Felsen Nest. And if you don't know what that is, just uh, Google it. It's a pretty important bunker. And I also found this in a forest, which is wheat sand, um, one cent, American, probably was lost by a soldier, and some um, 32 ACP casings, which are pretty rare. Um, your typical 45 ACP, which are not very rare. You see 41. More on Garand clip. And the actual ammo that was in there, I put it in a, in a new clip. It's um, for the grenade launcher. Um, so it's very, it's actually pretty rare ammo and very special ammo for the grenade launcher um, and there was also some memorial um, ammo but it's it looks a little different so I also found that in a trench actually um, then we've got this which is a part of a um, US field bottle or mess tin I'm not sure which one it was I forgot and we've got some 50 cals um, some more 50 cals, the Thompson magazine, magazine, I'm sorry, <laughs> um, then we've also got this, which is pretty, uh, I don't know why they bothered doing them, but this is a um, hole maker for US 10 packs, so you first put that in the ground to make the hole, take it out, and then you put the wooden 10 packs in, but I found that on a hill, uh, with a lot of rocks, <laughs> which is why it's so terribly beat up. You can see some stems here, US. It's also, just look at the color. Like, like new, as if it was dropped yesterday. Then we've got a pretty cool find, I've got to say. <laughs> it's a US World War II 30 cal um, canvas belt. So I've still got this green color on, I found them all in a um, hole, cleaned them all up, made them all safe so I can keep them, and they are all, they are all armor piercing, and there, yeah, see if you can see it, here we go, SL43, so St. Louis, and also on the Auto piece. Uh, is it? Uh, well, if it's wet, you can see the number 250. So it used to be a 250 round belt, but here you've only got about I don't know 30, maybe. Well, it's still an amazing find, <laughs> nonetheless. And we've got this, which is a. Um, it was used on a lot of German vehicles. It's a. Um, so-called Tarnscheinwerfer or um, Blacklight. Well, that's my phone, bat phone's battery for, so um, well, let's carry on where we left off. Um, so, yeah, this is a so-called Blacklight or Tarnscheinwerfer used on German vehicles. Um, the steel bit here is rusted away, unfortunately, but it's not the best quality of steel. But the inside parts really nice um, also it's got some remains of paint see this ochre or whatever color paint which was used on the German vehicles which was also found where I found this gas mask thing and it's also got a number there uh, something in 1600s <laughs> um, also, which I something I forgot um, after I watched a bit of the video, this is a first of May badge I also found there um, at the location where I found this and the SS ammo, which is a first of May badge from 1936. You see, pretty good condition. Only the pins rusted away, but it's in steel, so that's not very much. Not a very big surprise. Um, 
also says Ferdanstalt Oberstein, which is where it was made. Um, also from this there, one mark from 1924, so it's not World War II. But it's just a beautiful coin and it's silver and and what well <laughs> my phone battery uh, had battery. No, my phone was uh, full again. So I deleted a lot of crap and let's carry on. So these are these um Zug zu 52 fuse. Let's lay them down here. This entire box which is just a piece of wood with some fresh ammo I found on it. Um, so you can see it's this um, exploded ammo which I was talking about. That's why it's so deformed. And well, just look at the sheer masses. I found about 40 of these fuses on one spot. I'll um, put a video up of them all being found. Well, not all, but uh, quite a lot of them being found live by me. Just in one hole, there was the, at least ten. Um, so let's carry on with the next bits. Join this. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, get some more, some barbed wire first of all. German barbed wire, which I found on a. Um, well, I <laughs> just found it somewhere lying around and. It was actually on a fence on an old uh, oh crap now <laughs> of the bloody word so is it meadow uh, whatever and uh, I just took it because it was there was nothing on it and as you can see this part's pretty nice you can let's go on, focus come on you know you want to okay. So you can see the um, middle bit is actually square. Well, I think you can see this here as well. And it's twisted around. Um, and then the barbed wire thingies are put around. That's a pretty interesting detail to see. And um, we've also got this, which is pretty heavy. It's the, um, I think it's the. 88 millimeter or 75 millimeter armor piercing shell because I knew where I found it, where was also the um, ammo dump that exploded, which is why this thing doesn't have any rifling marks on the um, um, driving band or whatever it's called. <laughs> um, so it's actually exploded, and um, yeah, it's a armor piercing projectile from a tank. Which is why it's so bloody thick. I mean, just look at it. You don't get artillery shells this thick because there'd be no explosives in it. Also, you can see the threads down here to um, put in the so called Bodenzünder or uh, I guess base fuse. Yeah, that's a base. <laughs> um, let's carry on with this. Found this lying on the surface in a forest without the aluminum cable. I found that somewhere else. This is an insulation post for, for example, um, communication cables from the Germans. It's also got a marking up there. Um, this way around, I think. Uh, there we go. Bavaria. So it's actually Bavarian. So that's pretty cool. Then got a bit of an aircraft pieces of the British incendiary bomb marked MW and a few of them this is the um, German fuse the bomb fuse I removed this bit of aluminum because it was really rotten and you can see a few of these details in the plexiglass that's some rubber there it's an electric detonator, so it's not dangerous, and um, that's the cab I found. It was on there, and this is um, a hand grenade fuse. It's of a um, French World War One hand grenade, and 
that's pretty cool. I found a few, I found about five hand grenades in that hole. Um, two of them were still um, not very corroded, so I left them there. The rest I took with me because they were, they already fell apart, so there was nothing, no uh, TNT on, on them. And then we've got this, which I think is a protective cover or a ballistic cap of a shell. And last but not least, this, which is the top bit of the American M1A1 anti-tank mine. Um, I first thought it was a, you know, an adjusting wheel, for example, for the elevation and whatnot of an um, artillery gun, but it's not the case. But it looks very much like it, so <laughs> that's why I thought that that was it. Then we've got this. Yes, I know it's painted white, but um, yeah, this is a Laufschützer or um, barrel uh, carry case for an MG42 spare barrel. Unfortunately, it's completely rusted away, but I still took it with me because it's, well, it's still an amazing find. I mean, look at it. There may even be some stamps there. Didn't make them out yet. The last bit, <laughs> which is probably the biggest find I've ever made, and a really, really cool one. So, what do you think it is? I'll tell you. It's the um, <laughs> cover for the gearbox of a motorcycle from World War Two, which is a um. DKW NZ350, I think, which is um, basically nowadays Audi, Audi, whatever. Here you can see the um, brand, yeah, those four circles. Um, it's a cast aluminum piece. Um, this motorcycle was also used by the Wehrmacht, but uh, they called it then the DKW NZ350 slash 1 because they didn't like this in aluminum so they wanted it in steel but I found the aluminum bit but that was also used by the Wehrmacht so that's pretty cool and it's, it's a pretty good condition and you can see all the details on it when I found it it was completely dirty I kind of cleaned it up but not too much and no, it just sits in the cupboard. Okay, um, what else? Well, we've got these things, which I'll cover sometime in the future. And we've got this um, German ammo belt. The, um, this belt and starter tab. Um, the first 50 rounds uh, round belt is not original, but the other two are. One is 1938 and the other one is 1942. And uh, all the casings, I found all the casings myself. So you can see, for example, here. They're original, World War II. German casings. So that's where all they went. All of them went. There we go. <laughs> and um, let's see anything more? Yes. Another load of crap.